In this video, I'm going to take a look at one definite integral that involves an absolute value bar. Um, so I chose the integral from 0 to absolute value of 2x minus 1 dx. Okay, now you're going to stop and think about really what you're doing when you're integrating. You're trying to find basically that area under the curve. So if I can graph this and look at it between 0 and 2, then I'm going to kind of have an idea of what I'm looking at. So that's what I've done here, and I did the head time, so it'd be a little more accurate drawing here. Absolute value graphs are Vs. All right, you can look at that real quickly until it's going to shift um, to the right one half from the origin. All right, so there's my vertex at one half, and then I've got my absolute value there. Okay, now I am trying to integrate from 0 to 2. So there's 0 to 2. So I'm looking at the area under the curve from 0 to 2 there. Let's do that. There we go. So that's what I'm trying to calculate by this um, integral. Okay, now what I need to do or what I can do since this is a absolute value graph, then I can use the definition of absolute value and I can rewrite this um, expression right here. So let's do that just right here. So absolute value of 2x minus 1, absolute value, all right, is equal to basically a piecewise function. I've got a line here and I've got a line here. The line to the left of 1 half is going to be negative 2x minus 1 because I've got a negative slope on there, so negative 2x minus 1, and that would be for x is less than 1 half. Okay, the part of to the right then would be the positive 2x minus 1, and it would be for all values of x greater than or equal to 1 half. Okay, so this, by looking at my picture and knowing the definition of absolute value, I can rewrite this integrand so that I have two individual sections. Okay, now by doing that, then this is going to allow me to integrate this portion over here from 0 to 1 half and with the top function, and then I'm going to be able to integrate the second half from 1 half to 2 and integrate that and then add them together. So doing that, let's draw a little line here so that we know that we're starting our integration. Okay, so the integral from 0 to 2, absolute value, 2x minus 1 dx, all right, can be found by integrating from 0 to 1 half of my top equation there, so negative 2x minus 1 dx, and then adding to that the integral from 1 half to 2 of the second part of that equation, 2x minus 1 dx. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative there before I do any integration. So 0 to 1 half, and then we'll have a negative 2x plus 1. And I'm not going to change anything on this integral or start integrating just quite yet. 2x minus 1 dx. Okay, now it's going to be straight uh, integration on both of these, and then evaluate them and add them together. So as I integrate the negative 2x, I'm going to get a negative x squared plus x, and we will be running that from 0 to 1 half. I will add to that whatever I get when I integrate here. I'll have an x squared and then minus an x, and running that from the 1 half to the 2. All right, from here on out, it's just going to be a matter of uh, arithmetic, evaluating this out. All right, so if I plug in a 1 half, 1 half squared will be 1 fourth, so that'll be a negative 1 fourth, plus plugging in the 1 half there, and then minus whatever I get when I plug in 0, well, that's just going to be a 0 minus 0. All right, now for this second one over here, I'm going to plug in 2. 2 squared is going to be 4, minus 2 for that, and then subtracting what I get when I plug in a 1 half, so 1 half squared would be 1 fourth minus 1 half. All right, from here to the very end, it's all going to, it's going to be arithmetic. You can use calculator, you can do it longhand, whatever you would like there. You're going to end up with uh, 5 halves. 
All right, but uh, just one real quick example of a definite integral that involves an absolute value, and in this particular case, it kind of really helped to take a look at that graph, see what you had, and then rewriting that integrand into a piecewise function so then you could do the two individual sections and calculate um, that area under that curve. Definitely thanks for watching and be sure to share with your friends. Thanks!